Good evening, folks. On this 27th of June, we are looking to the New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 20, which states that every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Spurgeon applies it this way. Some persons have the foolish notion that the only way in which they can live for God is by becoming ministers, missionaries or Bible women. Alas, how many would be shut out from any opportunity of magnifying the Most High if this were the case? Beloved, it is not office, it is earnestness. It is not position, it is grace which will enable us to glorify God. God is most surely glorified in that cobbler's stall where the godly worker, as he plies the all, sings of the Saviour's love, I glorified fire far more than in many a prebendal stall where the official religiousness performs its scanty duties. The name of Jesus is glorified by the poor unlearned carter as he drives his horse and blesses his God, or speaks to his fellow labourer by the roadside, as much as by the popular divine who throughout the country, like Bernarges, is thundering out the gospel. God is glorified by our serving him in our proper vocations. Take care, dear reader, that you do not forsake the path of duty by leaving your occupation, and take care that you do not dishonour your profession while in it. Think little of yourselves, but do not think too little of your callings. Every lawful trade may be sanctified by the gospel to noblest ends. Turn to the Bible and you'll find the most menial forms of labour connected either with most daring deeds of faith or with persons whose lives have been illustrious for holiness. Therefore, be not discontented with your calling. Whatever God has made your position or your work, abide in that unless you are quite sure that he calls you to something else. Let your first care be to glorify God to the utmost of your power where you are. Fill your present sphere to his praise. And if he needs you in another, he will show it you. This evening, lay aside vexatious ambition and embrace peaceful content. Amen. That really are, those really are wise words. And uh, Spurgeon makes these kind of comments in other places as well. If there's anything else you can possibly do, do it rather than turn to the ministry um, and the, the concerns that are to be found there. And it also shows, uh, as I've been preaching in for many weeks uh, over the past period, that wherever we are in life and whatever we're doing in life, we have opportunities to be able to talk of the gospel with other people. And I pray that we would find our way to doing just that. We don't have to be especially clever to do that. Uh, some of the examples were given there. Simply praising our God and living holy lives is something that will attract people to Christ probably far more than, than wise words, and particularly uh, high and fluting words for that matter. I pray that's helpful. Uh, I think Spurgeon's words there are, are incre incredibly useful and practical. So until the next time, as we ponder these things, God bless. Please do take care. Bye for now.